We're here with Silvia Ruiz, who is the secretary of Union Latina, and we're going to be talking about the upcoming Latino Festival happening at Farm Pond later this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me on. So can you tell us how this idea of a Latin festival got started? Sure. Many years ago, it was done. Um, for quite a few years, they did it here in Framingham. And then some of the organizations that actually helped with this event um, closed their doors. And a few months ago, I want to say probably about six months ago, there was a f there was some chatter about you know trying to get a festival back in Framingham or Metro West per se. Um, and there was a lot of uh, it, there's a lot of diversity, and we thought that you know this would be a real hit, you know, trying to bring the communities together and to get to know each other because there's so much diverse. There's so much diverse. So that's how it was created. It's a group of us, you know, who work within the community, live within the community, and we thought this would be awesome to get this up and running, and hopefully, look forward to having it every year. So what is Union Latina? Union Latina is just a group of people who live within the community in Metro West. Um, and some have their own businesses, others work, you know. And we decided that we needed a festival. We, as I call, you know, just everyone together. And we thought that it would be something really good, you know, to give something to the community have them be aware that we're all together. So that's really how the idea came out. It was just basically just being together and you know bringing the community together to get to know each other and odysseys of the minds, I guess you want to say. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, so what can people expect if they come on that day? There will be wonderful food from from Mexican to Puerto Rican, um, Salvadorian. There'll be different types of food there, vendors. Um, there will also be vendor tables, so you'll be able to find information on local businesses and services. There will also be some entertainment. We will have a clown for the children. Um, there will also be some music. We have a couple bands coming in. We have a couple um, dancers from a dance studio, local one in Framingham, and then uh, they'll have some children performing, and I think there'll be one couple performing, doing some salsa or something of that sort, that nature. So there'll be all different kinds of festivities going on. We'll have a food, uh, a fire truck. We'll also have the Lions Eye Mobile there, where they'll be doing free eye exams, free blood pressure exams, um, hearing tests for the children and for the adults. Nice. And this is all happening at Farm Pond on August 23rd, correct? Correct. All From right. 11 to 5 p.m. So do you have any plans if it rains? We're hoping it's going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best plan. That is the best plan. <laughs> and what are you personally most looking forward to? Seeing the community come out. Seeing the community together and really mingling and just having a great time because that's what it's all about. Getting to know each other and just having a great time. So I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, and one of the things I forgot to mention, there'll also be some domino tables over there. So those of you who love dominoes, this is an opportunity to play dominoes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and what are your hopes for the future with the festival? Well, we're looking forward to hopefully getting more um, support and you know sponsors and hopefully having this grow into something that's going to stay every year and recur every year. Excellent. So that's what we're looking forward to. And one of the things that I forgot to mention was we will have, we will be honoring three people. Right. And one of them is Sergeant Richard Pomales. He's done a lot, and actually I think he was the first Latino police officer in Framingham, if I'm not mistaken. And then Al Argentina Aris. And we're also from St. Stephen's, Father Albert. So he's going also to be um, acknowledged with, for their community service and what they do within the Latino community. Excellent. We hope to see everyone there. I hope so. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Great. And if you are able to go out to Farm Pond on August 23rd, it looks like it's going to be a fun time for 
the entire community.